It's a sad day, true believers. Stan Lee has passed away at the age of 95. I'm Jim Vavid. I'm joined by Joshua Yale. Uh, Joshua, this is uh, this man has had a huge impact on not only generations of artists and fans, but on IGN itself. I don't think we would exist really as a company quite the way we are without Stanley's contributions. Yeah, he's just made so much. It's hard to find a person in the world who hasn't been like touched by his creative efforts, like his warm, charming personality and his yeah. sense of humor. And uh, yeah, it's. I feel like we've kind of like seen this coming a little bit. He's like canceled appearances, and he's he's not been in the best of health. Always in a great attitude, though. Yeah. Very, very always yeah. very upbeat, no matter what's happened. Uh, he's yeah. always posting on Twitter and stuff. But uh, but yeah, it's just it's it's crazy that it's just he's finally he's gone. I mean, Stan Lee has meant obviously so much to to uh, comic book artists, to filmmakers, to actors, the the actors that have worked in the MCU, but just amongst us fans, uh, you know grew up with not only the comics, but like, you know, he was also a voice in cartoons. So like when I was little, um, you know, I had the, the trade paperbacks of all the Marvel origins, which were the original like Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and Ditko, that kind of run of, of comic book origins. And I love them and I love that sort of very, you know, arch over the top style of, of back in the day and, um, and how colorful everything is, but also, Stan himself as a personality, you know, he was in the Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends cartoon. He was the mm -hmm. voiceover in that. So as a kid, you hear that voice, and he just and it just stays with you. He was such a character in his own right. And yes, and that's totally was was the appeal of Stan and why he became so big, very larger than life, because he uh, became the mascot, like the spokesperson for Marvel and for, and for comic books in general. Yeah. Um, you know, he has like signature phrases like Excelsior, and yeah, he was in in the voice in uh, animated series, in video games. Yeah. He made appearances on talk shows and radio and everything, and he was everywhere and really just promoting comics and all of his most iconic creations and co-creations with the yeah. likes of Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko, you know, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Four, the Hulk, yeah. like the, the list goes yeah. on. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's amazing to think though too that because he himself as a personality was such a great salesman, frankly. Yes. You know, he, he helped bring comics, Marvel comics in particular, into the mainstream. But he, I don't, I, I think his, his reach, it's pretty fair to say, is beyond just Marvel comics. I mean, DC Comics was very classy in, in their tributes to him. He did work for them at one point. Yeah, he, he like reinvented like DC characters. Like there's a Stanley yeah. version of Batman you should go check out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he, he has helped lift this entire medium into something that went from being, you know, back in the day of the, the comics code and it was looked down on to a mainstream pop culture phenomenon. Yeah, he really did tap into something universal about one of his comic book characters. Uh, they weren't these like godlike characters like you might see in DC, but they were very personable, relatable yeah, characters. And he that's what he tapped into of like Fantastic Four was a family before they were a team of superheroes, right? Yeah. And like Spider Man was like this just this guy just trying to pay the rent and take yeah, care of his, his elderly aunt uh, on top of trying to like stop the Green Goblin. Yeah. Uh, so it was it was it was that that was the magic and that he applied that to all of his characters, um, and, uh, and he created Black Panther with Jack uh, Kirby, yeah. which uh, you wouldn't think, but yeah, that was an incredibly yeah. progressive, you know, character for the time, and he's done so much uh, to just bring these characters and have them speak to, to our lives. Yeah, a half a century, uh, over a half a century of, of contributions to uh, uh, popular culture, but you know his his uh, his impressions though are, aren't just in comics. Obviously, as we mentioned, he's also in you know uh, tons of, of movies. Makes a lot of appearances in in not only uh, the MCU but beyond that in like X Men movies. Uh huh. And, and um, you know I think he he as a personality, as a character, somebody who's quotable. Um, uh, popping up in movies and TV shows is, is going to help keep his legacy alive, I think, even even longer. Yeah, you know? it's always like the, the moment where the crowd claps and cheers whenever he yeah, appears yeah. In, in any movie. And he always has these like great one-liners, um, so it's always great. And it's actually, while we're talking about that, we haven't seen the last of, of Stan Lee in nope. these movie cameo nope. roles because we know that he's already filmed a handful of, of cameos from movies that haven't come out yet. Yeah. I think it's safe to say he'll probably show up in Captain Marvel 
Marvel, yeah. in the Final Avengers movie, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was in Spider-Man Far From Home because that just wrapped yeah. uh, as well. So, and and he, those it, are the ones we know about. Yeah. He, he's, everyone loves Stan. He could have popped up in other things. We'll see. I mean, we do. Uh, we don't know for a fact, but you know, there's also the. Uh, the animated Spider-Man Into the Sp Spider-Verse coming up. We'll see if he pops up in there. Uh, if he was he in was Teen in Titans game. Go to the Movies and he can be yeah. in anything. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But we've also been fortunate enough in our careers here at IGN to get to meet Stan Lee. Uh, I met him uh, about probably 12 years ago. And really? I've seen him a bunch of times since, but to actually talk with him. I was at a, at a party after a, a, a Comic-Con panel and uh, He's in there and he's, you know, everyone's talking to him. And I go up and I tell him, you know, the first time I went to New York City, I read Marvel comics as a kid and you guys were so specific about where uh, the neighborhoods and where people, uh, all the characters lived that I found my way around New York City. And he goes, that's incredible. All these years I thought I was writing adventure stories, I was writing a travelogue. <laughs> so that's my Stan Lee. Uh, anecdote, Joshua, you've met him, I'm I have, sure, a bunch I have of times. met him uh, actually just once, oh. and uh, it was a wonderful, uh, just like short interview, and he was great. Uh, at the end, he just turned to me and he goes, you're a great interviewer. And I knew he said that to everybody, because uh, <laughs> I've heard matter. tons of other people tell that same story, but I was still happy that I got my turn. Exactly. He got to tell me. Well, thanks for sharing that memory, Joshua. We want to hear what Stan Lee meant to you. So please let us know in the comments. If you're missing Stan like we are, revisit some of his cameos from the MCU. And on behalf of everyone here at IGN, Excelsior.